By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. Oh, don't be so modest. It was all over SSNN. Lone Miner tames the Crimson Fleet, saves a member of Constellation, and steals the hearts of millions, no, trillions! And now, you're standing here, next to me? Oh, really is you, right? Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. I have an eye for these things. Not that you're hard to see with that halo on your head. Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But... I changed my routine for one day, and here you are! It's almost like it was meant to be. Oh, yes! Normally I start my day by drinking four cups of coffee and stuffing my face with chunks. But after being inspired by your story, I thought to myself, what would the great and powerful hero of Vectera do? And so instead, I went for a jog. I ran and I ran and I ran, picturing you in the distance, like a North Star. Imagine my surprise to find you were actually real. <laughs> By the light of Polaris, it must be fate. Me too. I was minding your business as well, visualizing it. Dreaming it, and tending to it like a garden in bloom. And now, here it is! Our first spring. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice groveling at your feet? If not, I can start one. You won't be disappointed! Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help a guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. in here but maybe they shouldn't stay for long we've always considered ourselves explorers but this really is uncharted territory isn't it well constellation's been around forever more than 50 years now but we only became aware of the artifacts recently barrett discovered the first one about two years ago right under our noses and he was the one who got this all in motion it's a shame he isn't here to see this Oh, right, that. If we were approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. 
What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh, gosh, no, I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I can't be certain that they will but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Anything I can learn from is a help. Stay safe, okay? I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? I have some vids of when I was, um, 12 in my Constellation Halloween outfit. <laughs> so embarrassing. But I found space so fascinating that there is still so much we don't know. I guess I still find it that way. Then you get that from me, dearest. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh turn sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. It was a gift. The Dean and I go way back, and he's a bit of a fan of Constellation. So it was just a labor of love for both of us. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but, uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Miss Noel, would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Actually, Mr. Cookies? What type? I make a mean snickerdoodle. Yes, I, um... We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do.
I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk-takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? All right, all right. 
Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Yeah, bring a coloring book. Get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Struts primed, retro firing. Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. I've got small feet. This is so cool! Of course! I'm an open book! Read me, write me, listen to me on your preferred electronic device. It's all fine. Oh, I'm not that interesting. I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. The first chapter 
in a 437 book anthology documenting your greatness. It's only a matter of time before they start writing it. I'll be counting the seconds until they do. 1001, 1002. Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. Oh, no. That sounds ominous. Like a fan club fee. That's a great idea. Real fans prove their loyalty with credits. Anything less just shows a lack of dedication and commitment. Of course, I think it's best I pay for a lifetime membership up front. Here, it's everything I have. I'd take a loan out from Galbank to pay more, but my credit isn't so good. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. No, it's fine. Go ahead. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that... My scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center, having been out there, in the starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes. I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I hope you got something out of that. Bye-bye. Has anyone ever told you? You're the greatest explorer in the settled systems. Well, they should.
Imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. What's considered ineffective, even a central element in combat. Let's pass that through or get to it. Stay. It would seem the mercenary company known as Ecliptic is now one of those threats. Everyone, it would seem, is now in their sights from the Pirates of the Crimson. Fleet. How's it going? Can I help you? Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything, and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. That's what we do here. Yo, this dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took the fish like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder. Someone came in and bought it, like, right away. The hell's that about, right? Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that, because... rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Oh, man, no, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, UC. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Come back anytime. Just leave whatever it is you're selling on the desk. Please keep 
get pretty glum around here. If you ever need a little joy, go talk to that Renee kid. She's always trying to make people happy. Simple or keep to yourself, and everyone will be happy. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You got another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. Believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld, asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Okay.
from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Captain on deck. Two steps in, and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay, it's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like space is scavenging around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with the space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive.
Take him down.
right, Lord Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. It's almost daring for spaces to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pooled their money to hire professionals. 
What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. <laughs>